Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley, a test tech talks video. Today we are going to be going over to the Facebook post on your Facebook app. So um, Facebook added some new features on their post area while you're trying to post a picture or an image or photo on your post or your timeline. So you get to add some cool filters and other effects on your um, photos. So before we dive into doing that, showing you guys how to do that, let's go ahead and check if our Facebook app is updated. Now open your Play Store, go to my apps and games, and then check if you have your Facebook app updated. This is a bit slow. Let me switch to my main data. Now let's try to update the Facebook app. Click on update. Now I'm going to wait for this to complete the update. All right, the update is complete and is now installing. Let's wait for a while till it completes. It's not going to take much time. So once it completes, it's going to display a recently updated app. Okay, now it's completed. Now you can see it's a new app and you can check on what's new to see what's new on the app. But right now I want to go ahead and do something really quick before we continue on using the application. Now, um, come over to your settings area and then go to applications or apps on your device and now click on the specific applications that are installed on your device and search for Facebook. Open the Facebook selection, click on storage and now clear the data. It's always good to clear the data after or before installing the update, but any one you do is left to you. So once you've cleared the data, close up everything, open Facebook again. Now it's going to ask you to log in the second time. This is just for our new update to work properly. That's the reason why I cleared the data. But sometimes your new update will work properly even without you um, clearing the data or um, clearing the storage. So I'm going to tap here and then my email is this and then login so it takes a while to log in actually depending on how fast your internet are and after it login is going to display um, this home screen and then I'm going to say okay to save my information on my device now it's going to load up and show this particular features for you to allow location and allow photos and turn on the other features to enable people to find you now it has completely installed in order to make use of our new and latest updates, there are still other, other updates, but I just want to show you guys the photo updates right here. Click on your post area to select what's on your mind. Click on photos and images. Allow access to your photos. Click allow, allow. And now um, I have some photos I already downloaded that I want to make use of. So first I'm going to install, I'm going to upload this by selecting and clicking next now you can notice right here it says effects you can see there are several effects i already made use of one and then there is this 3d effect um depending on what you're working on you might use this 3d effect or you might use this sparkle just make use of anyone you feel like using it's very interesting and they all add cool effect to it i'm going to make sure i make use of every one of them for you guys to see how it works i think i've already saved up some images here so i think that will be enough for me to play around and I'm going to choose this one. I already used this heart icon initially. So actually I'm a fan of Attack on Titan. So uh, that's the reason why I'm making use of all these images. Now I'm going to floor my timeline with a lot of Attack on Titan images. Next, I'm going to select this filter option. You can notice on the first option, actually is selected as effect so the next option will be filter so when you click on filter you can see different filters right here so this one is a black and white filter it's chalky and this is amber literally looks cool but not very cool on this particular image so you can play around it to see the one that fits your image so whichever one it is just go ahead and click and to choose that i think this one actually works well the vintage so I'm going to select that. You can see how the sound looks like. Not really cool. I think the vintage is the best. So I'm going to write a caption, a little caption, and then select a photo again. Try to upload this um, Erin image. And 
I'm going to go 3D on this one. So for the 3D, it takes a while to load your image to 3D, three-dimensional move. So it actually enables your image to be twisted, rotated around. And when you twist, you see different angle of that particular photo. So I'm going to give it a caption, Erin. Post. Now, I want to post more in order to test all of this filters i'm going to make use of the sandy i think this sandy is not very bad on this particular image the sandy is actually the best for it so selected and now i'm going to upload mikasa drawing right here and i'm going to choose a frame for that one so if i click on portrait frame you can notice how this looks like you can see how it looked like, right? Yes, I think that is cool. This isn't actually my drawing. I think it's a fan art made by someone on Instagram that I downloaded. So I'm going to select the last one, which is Levi. And then I'm also going to add an effect to it. So guys, in case you selected an image without noticing the effect, the effect option is always right here next to the edit option. So all you need to do is to click on effect and you'll be able to see all of the effects. Now I'm going to select a frame for this one. I already used this portrait one. Let me see how the, the Monday looks like. It says Saturday, Saturday and not really looking good for me. I'm going to play around with more of them. I think this one is not very bad. Let me see how this... No. This one is the best for this image. Let me click to see. Yeah, this is some bad. This is cool. So I'm going to use this for this particular image. Um, this is very easy to use. I think um, this is well explanatory enough for you guys. Once you have an image selected or uploaded, all you need to do is to click on effect. That is, if the effect is not already selected or not already active, click on the effect to have it selected. But make sure that your um, Facebook app is already up to date. Once it's up to date, you can get to make use of all of this one very easy. So once you're done, just go ahead and click on your post. Now let's see how our post looks like. I'm going to go over to my timeline to scroll down to see um this is levi not bad this is mikasa this is mikasa's youth and this is the 3d version of the um erin that i have now you can notice if i scroll down i get to see more of the title of the anime and i'm not seeing the write-up very well but if i try to switch a little i can see some of the write-up right there and I can see all of his um, lower part, uh, but I can see more once I scroll around it and try to move around my mouse. That is how the 3D works actually. And then the rest are effects. You can see how it actually look like. It had this little GIF image to it and makes it very interesting. So you can see how the love one also look like. I already uploaded this one before I uploaded the rest. So. This is pretty cool features added by Facebook. I think it's very nice and you guys should just go around, play around with more of it. And I think Facebook will be releasing more features to it later or if they made it to be um, programmers or developer friendly, developers can create more of the frames for them freely. And that is all for this video, guys. Thank you for watching and make sure you stay up to date to my channel by subscribing. See you on my next video. Peace.